Although in the last segment, Ray traced the development of a new thought, a new light on the baptism formula that now you had to comply with the understanding that if you were to be baptized by Jehovah's Witness, you were taking upon yourself some commitment and therefore loyalty to this earthly organization in violation not only of the Watchtower's past understanding of the baptism formula, but 2,000 years, essentially, of Christian tradition. And uh, I would submit that such a radical reformulation of what even what baptism means is essentially not just blasphemous, but apostatizes or apostatizes from even Watchtower tradition, let alone 2,000 years of Christian consistency and continuity. Ray goes on, on page 120 of In Search of Christian Freedom, I believe that the 1985 alteration represents a concern to have persons acknowledge formal ties to the organization, a commitment to it as a religious authority over them, and therefore an implied acceptance of its government over them, and its right to direct the formation of ecclesiastical courts to try those viewed as in violation of its rules and policies. In recent years, a fair number of persons have simply withdrawn from association with the witness organization without making any formal notification of disassociation. Even though continuing to live moral lives, if they subsequently do or say something that manifests that they are not in full accord with each and all of the organization's teachings and policies, they are frequently approached by elders, questioned, and often summoned to a judicial hearing. Some have stated that they saw no reason to attend such hearing, that they did not view themselves as subject to the organization's ecclesiastical authority. Some have even had an attorney send a letter to the elder body stating their position and requesting that they not be subjected to further investigation, interrogation, or summons. In virtually all such cases, the Watchtower Society's legal department has mailed to the person or to the attorney, if one was involved, a bulky package in the form of a legal brief presenting much evidence of the organization's success in the courts in related cases and citing numerous legal cases in support of their right to act as a religious government and ecclesiastical court toward persons baptized by the witnesses. In essence, the material states that the person or persons involved have only two alternatives, either attend the judicial hearing or formally disassociate themselves. As an example, the material cites one U.S. Supreme Court decision, which, among other things, says, quote, the right to organize voluntary religious associations to assist in the expression and dissemination of any religious doctrine and to create tribunals for the decision of controverted questions of faith within the association and for the ecclesiastical government of all individual members, congregations, and officers within the general association is unquestioned. All who unite themselves to such a body do so with an implied consent to this government and are bound to submit to it. That's the end of the Supreme Court decision. Ray goes on, the right referred to is the legal right of an ecclesiastical government to act in the manner described. Thus the brief sent out by the Watchtower Society's attorney stresses the legal factor when summing up matters in this way, and this is a direct quote from that Watchtower brief. Relation between the congregation and its members. It is axiomatic that the essence of the relationship of a religious society with its members is held by the courts to be the agreement of the parties and generally a profession of faith, adherence to the doctrine of the religious society and a submission to its government. A party having voluntarily assented to becoming a member of a congregation thereby, thereby subjects himself or herself to the existing rules and procedures of said congregation and cannot deny their existence. All who unite themselves to such a voluntary religious organization do so with the implied consent to this government and are bound to submit to it. Since your clients have not disassociated themselves from the congregation, then under the law they have given implied consent to its government, subjecting themselves to the existing rules and procedures, and are bound legally to submit to it. 
the theocratic government of the congregation to which your clients have legally submitted includes specifically the governing body of Jehovah's Witnesses, its legal agency, known as the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society of New York, Incorporated, and all their duly appointed representatives, including the elders of the congregation with which they are associated. The rules and procedures which your clients have subjected themselves to include those of the Judicial Committee arrangement set forth in detail above. Now that's the end of the legalese and the legal brief. Ray comments, in objecting to being investigated and tried by elders, some who had withdrawn have pointed out that in the pre-1985 period, when they were baptized, they dedicated themselves to God and not to an organization. The altered questions now used plainly tell the baptismal candidate that he is committing himself to a dedication and baptism that identifies him as one of Jehovah's Witnesses in association with God's Spirit-directed organization. This assures that he has indeed forfeited any legal right to say he is not subject to the organization's government and ecclesiastical courts. At least for the organization's legal department, this does indeed simplify matters. I find it as sad evidence of the concern for authority that any organization would utilize the sacred, very personal step of baptism as occasion for asserting its authority in the baptized one's life. Amen, Ray. In the next segment, the reversion to the Old Testament of the Watchtower in justifying these kind of this kind of relationship between the clergy and laity class. Of course, you can't find such a distinction in the New Testament, so the Watchtower, like many religious organizations, has to find it in the Old Covenant. That would be in the next segment.